my channel welcome back to my channel my name is Elizabeth Ann we are in Edmond Oklahoma I am vlogging this weekend just we're having a little adventure my vlog camera and I I just went to Chick-fil-a um, and I decided to pull over here and eat this first because the drive to my storage unit is like 10 minutes it's basically on the other side of Edmond like closer to Guthrie um, but anyway, so we're going to eat this really quick and head over to my storage unit. I've got a large Cook Zero. I was going to vlog earlier, but really, you guys did not miss much. I only stopped one time and was nothing interesting. But yeah, I'm so excited. I think I'm going to be able to see my friend tomorrow. Tonight, I'm going to go pick up. I did a to-go order at Rancher's Club. So I'm just going to do that. I'm not even like that that hungry so I think I'm just gonna eat my sandwich and save my fries for later um but yeah I just got a little chipotle sandwich but I'm gonna listen to my podcast um and I'll show you guys the storage unit when I get there we're gonna basically like go through some stuff get some clothes bring them to donate and yeah anyway volume wasn't working but essentially what I was saying is the majority of it we're giving away so I just went through some of the clothes and brought it back to Dallas to donate. Holy! I just powered through that with my um, summer 2016 playlist. The car is like filled to the brim. It's so hot. It's 85, but thank God, like I was inside of the unit, like shaded. Oh my gosh. Okay, I forgot tape, so we're gonna have to make we're going to have to make a target run. Let's go to Target. It's a super target in Edmond. This is so weird because I've never been here this empty like I was never in still water for the summer but um I've come to pick up my food but oh, this is the most gorgeous place apparently I want to say this is like the biggest student union in America like in the U.S. this is like the gardens I remember coming here for the first time and like falling in love is so gorgeous and then that's our library I'm gonna be standing up there at homecoming giving a speech but anyway it's a little you guys I forgot how good this lens is look at this look at the depth this is insane. I'm not sure I need this quality on my face. Holy. So, if you guys are sort of new here, I bought this lens in like, no, it was like 2021 when I was living in Fernandina. And honestly, I thought she was a goner because my parents were like, we don't like, we don't have that lens here. I don't think there were any camera lenses in Oklahoma. And I was like, okay, it's fine. But internally freaking out because the quality is insane. It's such a heavy lens, but like, I mean, even look at this while I'm here. The only issue with this lens is it doesn't zoom. But if you ever come to Stillwater, this is where I went to get my nails done. It's still like Snell Spa and they are so nice. I'm like debating and this is the other issue. I'm debating going to get my nails done. I think I might do it. Um, but they're really busy. And I think they're going to be busy today because it's Sunday. So maybe I'll wake up in the morning and come get them done. I just finished. I just finished at Aspen. If you guys come to Stillwater, go to Aspen. So good. I love Aspen. This Aspen, the Lakeview one, is such a good vibe. Like it feels like you're in a little homey coffee shop in a small town and which is exactly what it is um and 
I've never been here during the summer. It's so nice because it's so empty. Um, so there might be like 10 people in there and usually I'm like fighting for a seat. So that was amazing. Coffee was good. Egg Witch is amazing. Their sausage roll is also good and they have really good scones. But anyway, we're gonna head over and uh, go see a few sites. The issue with being here on a Sunday is none of the stores open that I want to go to until 1. It's now 12.15 so we don't have that much time we need to kill. But I think I need to go get gas so I think we're going to go the back way to my little apartment. I'll show you guys. And then after that we can run over, get gas, and then I'm going to go by the lake and show you guys that area. Okay guys, we are in downtown Stillwater. It's so cute. I love it so much. We're going to the antique mall. Oh, how cute. Look at the little... It's just such a downtown. Also, if you're in Stillwater, I got a dress from there one time. Altered. If you ever need alterations. So, this coffee shop over there is called... Oh, shoot. I can't remember what it's called. Balance Coffee Company. They have really, really good coffee. And I love their coffee shop on campus as well. It's in the, Meth in the Methodist like what's it called I can't think of it was I'll put it on the screen they have really good coffee and it's a great place to study there's lots of room because it's like um a huge center where people like live um but anyway I'm just so grateful it is sunny and windy and not sunny and still but I'll show you guys I don't know if Typo Market is open but it is the cutest store in the world I'm gonna walk down to show you guys a little bit of the downtown area look how cute that is Literally the cutest little downtown. I'm gonna walk that way later and show you guys, but. You guys, I had to stop by Friend Hall. That's where I lived. To the right, right there, I put a little text. I lived, wait, no, I lived over there. Wait, did I live here? I can't remember. But it doesn't matter. The story of this is, I freaking ran over one of those cement blocks. One time I had just moved here. And I ran over one of those, like, cement things. And I got it stuck under my mom's car. And my angel of a roommate came out and helped. Well, mainly she just pulled the cement thing because it was stuck under my mom's car. It was insane. But this is so crazy. And um, I'll show you the bus stop. This was, this feels like, I mean, this feels like it was a decade ago, but it was only like four years ago. And I kind of blocked this time in my life because I had a horrendous roommate. And it was my, like, first semester at Away From Home. There was a lot. I had a huge mental break when I was living in this dorm right here. And I, I moved here in January. So it was, like, snow season, ice season, and it was the worst winter they'd had in a long time. And so, I was like seasonal depression max. And I was like, well, I'm, go I'm transferring to University of Florida and doing their pediatric psychology program. And then I fell in with Oklahoma State. And I made friends and I was in a sorority. And everything felt perfect. Um, and then I went through a bunch of stuff that summer. When I went home, my grandma passed away. Came back. It was a little hellish. And, but I survived and I made friends along the way, lifelong friends. And I'm just so grateful. And I think like being here when it's like so empty and I can go to these places and really just like be by myself and just be grateful for everything that happened that led me to where I am today. I can't tell you how many times 
I like ran out and missed the bus at that bus stop right there. I'll show you guys in a second. But during the summer, like so that is the or it used to be indoor tennis. This is like the rec or whatever where the pools and stuff are and the huge gym. And these are the soccer fields and the intramural fields. Um, the real soccer stadium is like to the left over there. You guys can't see. But um, during the summer, everyone sits out there and like has picnics and just like chills after class. But anyway, okay. I just went to, um, what's this called? Tropical Smoothie Cafe and got my favorite drink. This isn't the one that's the best for you, but it's my favorite like if I want to treat myself. Um, I get the Bahama Mama with no sugar and add away. Uh, let's proceed on our tour. Here is the bus stop and you guys, the bus was so like short. If you weren't here like three minutes before, um, they literally would leave you and they would not stop. They were ruthless. Holy crap. I don't know what this is gonna be. Oh, there's a car coming. But look how big that was. That's where the classroom and males used to be, I think. Look how cute. Okay, I just know the lighting is weird. But I went to Eskimo Joe's and I think I did a clip already of these. I'll probably put over. But I got a bunch of the cups. And I'm really just doing all the things that I didn't get to do at graduation. Because I left straight for Georgia and then to England. Um, so from Eskimo Joe's, I've always wanted one of their baseball shirts. So I got this one. Super cute. Super, super cute. It's Pistol Pete and Eskimo Joe on it. And then I've wanted this one for literally years, like probably since I came here. It's the like, um, what is it? The seaside, like riding, and just says Oklahoma State. I really, really like that. And then I got this one. Oh, it's OSU alum sticker. I had one, but this one's gonna be better, and I think it's one that goes like straight on, so hopefully that'll work better. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna put this all away. I'm at my old building. I'm gonna show you guys really quick where I used to go in every single day. It's my little hacky hack because <laughs> Our floor is like the third floor, so if you go in the basement, you can take the elevator straight up. How gorgeous. There's the basement, shout out. And when school's in, you can hear all the screaming babies there. And there's a nice little area to sit over there. set out and did homework and stared out every day being like, oh, is college over yet? Not college, but just like class and stressful things. But oh my God, <laughs> so weird. When I first started here, oh my God, when I first started here, it was just College of Human Sciences. But I think around like 2020, they named it after Nancy Rudolph. Randolph. So. Bye, Queen. See you later. We can go back towards the library. I love this little area. I have to stop. It's so beautiful. Of course, this building is. This was brand new when I moved here. 
and I never had a class physically in there, but I was supposed to have a minor in entrepreneurship, but it didn't work out. You guys, this is the parking lot where I called my parents literally crying like every day being like, I don't want to be in this sorority anymore. Like, I'm so miserable. Sorry, this quality is not here. Oh my god, my hair looks so bad. This is like an old bagel cafe. I'm so excited. They were out of a lot of the bagels because it's Monday morning. Oh my god, she's gorge. If you guys are ever in the Oklahoma area, honestly, they have a lot of locations. I know they have some in Edmond and some in, um, clearly it's still water. And um, Oklahoma City. They may not have it in Tulsa too. But anyway, I'm sitting in front of the barn. If you guys are ever here and you drink, which clearly I do not. Well, oh yeah, even if you don't drink, I can't eat it because I'm diabetic. But they have a thing called the Spriddle, which is Sprite with Skittles in it. And it's literally like a drive through like barn. And they have like beer and wine and everything. So go. Overcome, they have fountain sodas too if you don't drink. And then there's Outlaws, it's one of the bars. And Shots is right there. But what I'm trying to show you, Pine Shots is my old apartment complex that I lived at forever. I'm midtown. You guys, I'm so sad. I just said bye to my hairdresser. <laughs> okay. Here I check. You guys, it's almost two o'clock. I just got my hair cut off. Looks good. We did like little side bangs um, and then layers and I just got it a little shorter and she kind of blew it out. It looks amazing. I love it. I know I have to like style it every day for it to look super cute, but just wanted some change. I wanted it shorter um, and here I'll show you guys the inspiration pic I showed her. This is what I showed her. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> you guys, I'm so sad. I'm gonna be so honest with you guys and tell you that I cried the entire way from here to Pops last time. Like the entire way. <laughs> so, not that I'm not gonna cry on this road trip, but I feel like I got most of my feelings out then. I love Stillwater. Stillwater has been the best home for me. I literally can't imagine my life without it. And I've never really told this story, but I came when I was in, freshly into ABAC. And I just like felt like such a calling to Stillwater. And whenever I was choosing between there and Birmingham, I just felt like I was being led to go to Stillwater, even though it was so far from home and I was so nervous about coming home and seeing my parents. And um, I did it, and I loved it. And even though two of the four years, was I here four years? Like three and a half years, um, were spent during COVID um, and not really here. I am so grateful for Stillwater. I'm so grateful for Oklahoma State and I'm so grateful I came and like officially like felt like closure to this chapter. So with that said, we're leaving Stillwater for the last time, which is crazy. Um, I feel like I'll probably cry, but it's fine. <laughs> we're all good. Um, we're gonna head to Edmund, I've got to tape up the boxes because the storage unit wasn't, uh, they were closed when I went to go tape back up the boxes. Anyway, I we're at my old apartment complex. If you guys live in Stillwater, it's 51. And Oklahoma is sending me out in typical Oklahoma fashion. It's like like typical dreary Oklahoma and so yeah with that being said I think I'm gonna head out by Stillwater by Trident Heights love you guys so much seriously anyway I'll tell you guys in Edmond 
So guys, I realized while I was there, I forgot to tell you guys, I made up a few lists of places I would recommend if you're going to Stillwater for the first time, or maybe you're moving there for college. Um, so I figured I'd just share them now and do this little voiceover. So for food, I broke it down into like different things, but favorites for burgers, Eskimo Joe's, The Garage, Ron's Chili and Hamburgers. Sushi, I really like Nookie, and remember, I haven't lived there in like a year, so there might be a million better sushi places, but these were my favorites. Also love Golden Dragon for Chinese food, late night foods all in the strip are Curdy Shack, Pickleman's, and Coney Island. For breakfast, my favorite breakfast places are Just Waffling and Granny's Kitchen. Some other favorites, I love the Ranchers Club. I literally ate there once a week, probably. Um, and then Da Vinci's is my favorite Italian spot in town. Going out, there's the Strip, which is right off of campus that has all the bars. I don't drink anymore, but when I did go out a lot, these were the places I frequented. Tumbleweed, which is a line dancing like country bar out in the outskirts of Stillwater. It's really, really fun. They have a music festival every year and it's just definitely, it's one of those places that you can go one time or you can go a million times. Like it's so fun. College Bar is my favorite. They have a thing called Funkin' Beers on Thursdays and even after I quit drinking, I used to go. It's so fun. They have a live funk band and the vibes are immaculate. Murphy's, shout out. Shout out if you know the Murphy's story time. Anyway, Murphy's has darts. It's fun. I never really liked the Union, but all my friends really like the Union. And then there's a great wine bar called Zenotis, which is actually in downtown Stillwater. It has the best food. It is so fun. It is gorgeous. They have live music all the time. And they have great charcuterie boards. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun.